can I ask this one question? When I read this about the Amazon, Apple, Google, Facebook, 21%, I mean, it was written, I forget where I read it, maybe you, yeah. and it was written like, oh my God, 21% in the economy, four companies. Yeah. And I was like, is that so bad? I, I would have thought it was 80, yeah. quite frankly, if I hadn't read that. I mean, the biggest four companies who really, I mean, this is what's propping up America as the rest of us goes to shit. Uh, is that such a big thing that those, the four biggest companies are one-fifth of the economy? Depends it's, the world we I'm want not, to live I'm not in. that alarmed at that. Do we want one company deciding 93% of the time when we type in uh, overthrow government, whether you get uh, instructions on how to build a dirty bomb or voter registration? Should one company control those decisions 93% of the time? Should one person control the algorithms that decide the content that the Southern Hemisphere plus India receive? Should one company effectively control 97% of all increase in value of all retail, the third largest employer in America? And I know you think healthcare is next, right? Don't you think that Walmart and is it Amazon who are going to be battling to, of course, why wouldn't they want that? Right. They own everything else. Yeah. Where's all the money going? Sick people. Because yeah. that's what America does best, make sick people. Well, look, the fastest, the largest business in the world is U.S. healthcare. It's 17% right. of GDP, its prices keep going up, its G NPS keeps going down, that spells, here comes Amazon. But not only is it bad or morally corrupt for these companies to have so much power, it's dangerous. The equivalent of the NASDAQ in Israel is down, not up. They're vaccinating at seven times the rate. When the most powerful, wealthiest people in the world are living their best lives, we don't show this virus the full-throated capitalist response we are capable of. If Amazon stock, if, if if Amazon stock, if Amazon stock had declined 70 percent instead of risen 70 percent in the last 10 months, when a van with a smile shows up in my driveway tomorrow morning, someone with a someone would have jumped out in a lab coat and vaccinated us. We are living our best lives. This virus has not seen what what the U.S. is capable of because stop, stop, it hurts so good if you're the shareholder class. Look, we're just coming to the realization that Facebook is not gonna take care of us when we're older or concerned with the condition of our soul. Teen suicide is skyrocketing because of concierge bulldozer parenting where we've created this princess and the peace syndrome with our youth. But we've also <laughs> yes. addicted them. We've <laughs> also addicted them to social media. It, yeah. There's a, all this talk about movements among young people, whether it's GameStop or other righteous movements. Right, because they won't take away the phone. But you want a movement? Right, the parents, right? You want a movement? Acknowledge that the food industrial complex wants to make you fat and vulnerable to, to viruses. If you want a movement, realize that every social media platform is trying to divide you and enrage you. You want a movement? Instagram is trying to make you feel worse about yourself. You want a movement? Then rebel against addiction, divisiveness, and a lack of self-esteem. And it means going after these companies and holding them accountable for the damage they are doing to the Commonwealth and to our kids. You have kids, your world of work, your world of friends, your world of kids, something comes off the tracks of one of your kids, your whole world shrinks down to those kids. And a lot of times in COVID, it's because their brain has been rewired because of these goddamn devices. <laughs> yeah, but this guy's a, a walking applause break. <laughs>